Welcome to the next session of ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a spring for modal analysis. Modal analysis is all about solving an object for finding its natural frequency. Natural frequency is something which is inherent in every material, like it is for the spring. Every object has a tendency to vibrate as and when it encounters some kind of force on it. So say if there is a spring and there are many natural frequencies of it and suppose if you just happen to give a particular force to it, it will start vibrating with one of the natural frequencies based on the intensity of the force that you give to it. So let's start with the analysis. We'll first go to model and double click on it. We'll go to engineering data, engineering data sources, general materials. There are various materials for spray. Let me choose stainless steel for the model analysis. I'll go to project and update project. Next, I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modeler geometry. Units, I choose millimeter, XY, look at. I'll go to sketching and I'll quickly make a helical coil compression spring. I first draw a line and give it dimension, say 50. I'll make another sketch. I'll go to the second sketch and draw a circle. I'll give these two dimensions since the diameter is 4 and this distance is 50. I'll go to sweep option. Profile is the circle and path is this line. I'll change twist specification to turns and let me get the number of turns as 10. Generate. I'll change this number of turns to 8 and generate. I just changed the number of turns because the spacing between the two coils was too less. So I just wanted to increase the spacing so I changed the number of turns to 8. Next I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to geometry, solid, I'll change the assignment of material to stainless steel. Next I'll go to mesh, right click, insert method. I'll choose the entire spring. I'll change method to tetrahedrons. Next I'll insert sizing. I'll choose the entire spring again. The limit size here is 3.6. Let me change it to 1 mm and update. You can see this is the meshing done. Next, I'll go to analysis settings. Here you can see the maximum modes is 6. I'll first go to the lowermost portion and insert fixed support that's it i'll go to solution and solve you can see here six modes have been created you can also see here the frequencies of each mode i'll just click here select all and create mode shape results I'll go to solution and solve again this is the first deformation. This is the natural frequency of the body. I have not applied any force. But suppose if the body just encounters a small force here and there, 
it may start vibrating with this frequency. The frequency is 58.595 hertz. Let's see for the second deformation. The frequency is 58.621 hertz and this is how it is going to deform. Next deformation is for third mode. Here the frequency is 96.437 hertz. This is the fourth deformation where the frequency is 109.52 hertz. For the fifth natural frequency, the value is 214.68 hertz and you can see the way it is going to deform. And this is the sixth one that we have chosen for which the frequency is 219.6 hertz. Now it is not necessary that there will be always six modes. You can definitely change the number of modes by going to analysis settings. Max modes, you can keep on increasing the maximum number of modes that you want to see. I am leaving it to six itself. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to solve for modal analysis of a spring and how to calculate its natural frequencies by using ANSYS software. You can also calculate the same by using numerical method wherein you calculate omega is root of k by m. I hope you have understood the procedure. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.